Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Tuesday, June the 4th, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. All right. Wow, looks like we got some good ones here. Now, I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out and give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas that were there. If you're a brand spanking new player to the game, you're a returning player, even if you're an experienced player, there's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome with the great comments and tips, which are greatly appreciated. Okay, there is not a whole lot we can do here in our camp. There is some things we can do. Let's go ahead and take this one here. Craft or scrap armor five. So again, we get this one here quite often. And uh, if you're looking for armor, you can find armor off of Killing Scorched. I find the Grafton Monster is a good source of armor. Sometimes they'll have some armor on them that you can uh, collect off their bodies. Uh, right down here, Charleston Train Yard. It was, there's one down here just on the other side of the Charleston Capitol Building on your way to the Somerville's Dam. Uh, there's another Grafton Monster right up here at Hemlock Holes. Okay. Uh, but uh, various armor you can find laying around as well, just in random places. It totally depends on the server that you're on. So for this particular daily weekly challenge, I'd rather just craft and then scrap my own armor right here at our camp. All right, so let's go down here. Let's go to our armor workbench. Uh, so the armor I'm thinking of, okay, is we learn very early on in the game. Now, I've been playing for quite a while. I can't exactly remember how or when I got the plans for this light armor, but it'll be under light armor, go under these leather pieces. So I remember learning uh, these very early on in the game is we can craft these right at level one. Okay, so I don't know. I don't think they're default uh, plans that you learn right out of the vault. Uh, they may be now. It's um, I just can't remember. Maybe someone can kind of chime in to remind me. Uh, but they don't cost a whole lot either. So, like, let's take this leather arm, for example. One cloth, one leather, two steel. Okay? So, uh, basically, it uh, doesn't cost a whole lot. Let's go ahead. We are going to craft three of them. All right. And we're going to back out. Then we're going to scrap. I'm going to scrap the leather left arms we just crafted here. Done. Just like that. Craft or scrap armor five for five. Just like that. Okay? Just like that. and again nothing's stopping you uh that's that's really fast quick and easy uh but again if you do have a little bit more time in your day you're not in a big rush if you want to go after the grafton monster or some super mutants or some uh, grafton monsters scorched you can go ahead and uh, go after those guys and you can look for armor just kind of laying around if you so wish and do it that way nothing's stopping you all right let's see what's next here jim Uh, while we are on armor, uh, let's take a look at this one here. Mod a piece of armor 5. So again, you hear me talk about this all the time. We pick up armor, we craft armor, and then we scrap armor in this game. And every time you scrap a piece of armor, either you picked it up or you uh, crafted it yourself, you will learn a mod for that armor, okay? You can even buy mods off of other uh, players' vendors as well. Uh, but the only... Re uh, the only uh, bad point of doing that is basically you will need to use valuable resources that you may or may not have so not everyone has followed first so not everyone has access to a unlimited uh, scrap box full of junk items that you can use to modify armor and so i always kind of recommend to people is either use armor that you use day to day and uh, or even armor that you have in your stash box just one piece that you know a paint fork is by changing the paint, you're also modding it, and it's only going to cost you oil, right? So that's what I usually recommend to folks. Let's go to our atomic shop here for a second. All right, let's go down here to the skins section. So very similar to modding weapon daily weekly challenges. We're going to go down here to the armor section, and uh, this is more so for the returning folk, but basically uh, in the past, if you've done a, a previous scoreboard, you would have been rewarded various types of uh, power or 
armor paint, I should say, just regular armor paint. You can see this combat paint, leather paint, metal paint, marine paint. And uh, if you've done many scoreboards like myself in the past, you'll have a whole list here of owned paints for different types of armor. Okay. Uh, so just an FYI. And uh, you can, this is where you can check to see uh, what armor. And let's say, let's say you don't use leather, uh, leather armor or certain armor, but the armor that you do use day to day, you don't know a paint for. Just have a piece of leather armor or a piece of metal armor in your stash box. And that way there you can do these daily weekly challenges extremely, extremely fast. Now you can, sometimes you can also buy paints in the atomic shop as well. Um, I didn't see too many that was in here. We saw some power armor paint, but no uh, armor paints itself. So sometimes they do come up for sale in the atomic shop. So sometimes you just kind of watch out for that. All right, let's back out here. So actually let's go to this uh, armor workbench here. Let's go modify. We're going to use that leather left arm that we just uh, crafted there. This guy right down here. So we slide that over. So from scrapping in the past, you know, I have uh, learned different types of mods. And, you know, even though they don't cost a whole lot, but, you know, let's say you're a person who's new to the game, you might not have uh, those particular uh, items that you, you need to mod it, okay? Uh, but let's say you have all kinds of oil. So let's go down here to the paint section. And these are all the different paints uh, that you can get. All right. So let's switch it. As you can see, just switching to a paint is going to cost us one oil. Right, so you see that one for five. Let's go back to no paint, which is not going to cost us anything at all. All right, so that that even counts, right? And this is all you do. And maybe 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 you only have no one paint. You don't have to you know know this many. You just kind of keep going, switching back and forth kind of deal between one and then not the other kind of deal, right? So there we go. Just another example. And even the um, my day-to-day -day stuff, the Secret Service armor, you know, same kind of deal. I have different type of paints for that as well. So I showed you how you can check that stuff out in the Atomic Shop, right? So there you guys go. Just for an example. What's next here, Jim? What is next? Okay, claim a workshop one. So again, any old workshop in the map will do. Whichever one you're closer to, if you're a person that doesn't like the fast travel in the game or you don't have very many caps, but any old workshop will do. And uh, basically, let's go down here. We'll go down here to the Billings Homestead. But let's fast travel the Silva Homestead and we'll uh, run down the road. Now, again, if you are looking for the ins and outs of how a workshop works, I did make a video probably about four months ago and I go through the ins and outs of workshops and what they're all about. And, uh, you know, defending them will count as an event, etc., etc. You can check out that video if you so wish. It's all time-stamped in there, and we go through quite a bit. It's not a long video, but uh, if there's something you're wondering about, then you can check it out. And... All right, so we're coming up on this uh, workshop here. This is probably one of the easiest ones in the game. And uh, basically, there's usually just four ghouls. Every time I come here, there's four ghouls. Now, there is a possibility when you come here that um, there are no ghouls at all. And that goes with any uh, workshop. It doesn't happen very often nowadays, but it used to happen quite a bit. Where basically, sometimes you go up to a workshop and uh, there'll be no enemies at all, so you just go up and claim it, okay? Uh, so that can happen. I just haven't seen it happen for a while. Okay. Here's our workshop here. It's going to cost us 25 caps. Now, let's say you're on a public server with other people. And uh, let's say you come to a workshop that you are able to claim without getting into a PvP with another player. Uh, and let's say it costs more than 25 caps. That means the person who owned that workshop prior to you has left the server. And you can go ahead and purchase that, but it's going to cost you more than the 25 caps due to them possibly building something within this radius of this workshop, right? So just an FYI. So it's going to give you an idea. The most I ever paid for a workshop was about 55 caps. And there was probably about a half a dozen turrets, you know, a couple floors and walls, a staircase, and I think some, um, some defense items of some sort, but it only cost me 55 caps. So just an FYI. Just to give you an idea of what that could be. All right, what's next here, Jim? So now we, we own the workshop. We're able to fast travel to it. That's another good thing about owning a workshop. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one here. Kill a Mylurk 5. 
many great spots for some mylarks around the map. Uh, one great spot, you'll find at least six right up here at the toxic dried lake bed. Uh, right down here, probably one of the best spots right now, Ohio River Adventures. Another good spot, we'll find four of them down here, Lake Reynolds. So not just the typical Mylarks that we're used to, but also Razor Claws, uh, Mylar Kings, uh, Mylar Hunters, they also count as well. You will come across an older video of mine where I bring you guys down here to Summersville. And the house on the right hand side used to be polluted with Mylarks, but now there's about four or five ghouls in there. But we can still find the odd Mylark or two down by the river, but you just got to go down by the river and they're kind of submerged in the water. So when you get a little closer to them, they'll pop up out of the water. I can find maybe four or five along that little river there. All right, so let's go ahead here. We're going to go to Ohio River Adventures. It's just down the road from where we're at. I wonder good about this spot. Well, there's probably, I would say, about five full-grown Mylarks. And there's a bunch of eggs down by the river's edge. And the little hatchlings that pop out of those eggs sometimes, is they will also count. They will also count. Oh, he's going to kill our Mylark on us. <laughs> you going to be okay there? Oh, my goodness. Those caps. There we go. I wonder if he went in here. This tells me he did. So usually there's about two of them out on the uh, near the roadway here. And you guys uh, bring you guys here all the time. Oh, this person uh, passed away. All right, let's go ahead and we'll take care of that guy there. All right, so here we have these uh, these eggs here. Now we have a good chance that when we pick them up, there'll be just there'll be an egg, of course. But another time there'll be a hatchling. You see the little hatchling there? He's gonna count. See how he counted? Okay. Just an FYI, you can do that. Quite a few eggs here, just if you have an explosive weapon, you're just going to be careful or you're going to ruin your chances of getting more Mylurks because your explosive weapon is destroying the eggs, okay? Uh, so just an FYI, that can and will happen, but there's eggs all down, down the river here. All right, there's another Mylurk. We'll leave him alone. All right, so that's another thing you can do. That's why this is probably one of the best spots. You get the little hatchlings there. and They're fairly easy. All right, so we just saw an event that popped up there. So we got this one here, complete in event one. Of course, we had claimed that workshop up here. And we have to prepare to defend it. So actually, let's go ahead. We're going to fast travel up here now that we own that workshop. Now, I do have a video I made about four and a half months ago uh, where basically we complete event for newbies is what it's called. You, you don't have to be a newbie to watch that video. Am I going the right way here? You don't have to be a newbie to watch that video. You could be of any level at all. If you're having trouble finding events. Uh, it's probably about an hour and six minutes long uh, for that video. And you can watch that if you so wish. It's all time stamped. Uh, but on that video, uh, one important thing is I was on a private server by myself. And the vast majority of events I spawned in by myself. Okay. And uh, you can check out that video if you so wish. If you're having a hard time trying to find events and trying to find events that you can do if you're a lower level player. All right. So let's get some ghouls in this one. And this is probably one of the easier uh, workshops to do because there's no real hidey holes. They just kind of come down from the hill roughly. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Now, if you are on the map, and again, you're having trouble finding events, um, if another person had claimed, let's say you came on the map with me, right? And even though you don't own this workshop, that I have this little defend the uh, workshop event going on, you can join. You can join and you can, uh, you don't really have to join per se, like clicking a button, but you just show up in the area to defend the workshop and you will get credit as an event as well. So that's another thing that we talk about during that uh, workshop uh, video that I made on how that works. All right, so that one there is fairly easy. As you can see, that's as easy as it gets. Sometimes there'll be mongrels that show up. Uh, probably one of the harder ones are the super mutants that will show up once in a while. So they can be a little bit beefier. So just an FYI, that one there is fairly easy. All right.
I'm surprised these guys got uh, ammo on them. Oh, gold fork, thank you. All right. What's next here, Jim? Uh, kill an angler three. So again, many great spots we could find anglers. Not too many, though. Uh, you could find anglers more so in the higher level areas. Uh, if you happen to come down here on a uh, public server, of course, Sunday Brothers Cabin, uh, there's an event called Moonshine Jamboree. If you pay, take part in that event, there will be quite a few anglers that will show up for that bad boy. So just uh, an FYI there. Uh, you will find angler hordes the odd time. So it won't be a hexagon like this, but it'll be the uh, the non-public type, just like the regular one. I can uh, kind of use that as an example, but we don't have one up here. But it'll just be oh, like, like this one. It'll show up like this. And it'll be kind of moving around. And uh, sometimes there are different hordes of different enemies. And once in a while, in these higher level areas, you'll come across an angular horde. Also, in the high level areas, if you claim a workshop, you do have a chance for uh, defend that workshop against anglers. So that's uh, that's an option for you as well. But if you're looking for anglers in a pinch, and this is a guaranteed spot for some anglers right up here at the gnarled shallow. So let's pop up here today. Now this is a guaranteed location, so just an FYI. If you do come here and uh, these anglers are not here and you're on a public server with other people, that means somebody already came up here and killed them. It's not necessary that they didn't, that they don't spawn here anymore. They do because I, I check this stuff all the time. Uh, it's just because uh, you're a little late to the party, that's all. And you'll have to server hop this area if you want to get three more. So again, three guaranteed see the little lures that are sticking out of the water these guys aren't going to be roaming around all right so let's go ahead we're going to try to wake this guy up here all right and again just shoot him in the head don't even get him up oh, don't, don't even give him a chance all right now that guy there is not too too bad he's fairly low level most times for me uh there's this guy here that's closer to the tree for me he's usually level 100 I'll make sure we're lock and loaded here. I'm going to have to reload. Hopefully give him a headache enough so he doesn't know what to do with himself. There we go. As you can see, he was a little canned dog food. Thank you. See, when you're not looking for it, you find it all over the place. But find dog food left, right, and center this past week. If you guys seen my videos, it's just like, oh, right on game. All right, and the third guy just around the corner here. For me, he's usually the lowest. Let's lock and load before we forget, Jim. Be a little closer. Yeah, he's only level 50. Again, just don't give these guys a chance when they pop out of the water. Just, you know, just rain down hard on them there. <laughs> uh, now, if you keep going up this little river here and you go to the north, okay? Uh, the river's not really shown on the map, but if you keep going, oops. If you keep going up by these mountains right about this area here, There'll be a little pond up there, and you'll find usually two more anglers up there roaming around. All right, so just just keep going north, and you'll eventually uh, find two more if you're running out of them. And if you can't find two again, maybe they didn't spawn in because they're already dead. You're they're on the cooldown from someone else already killing them, and you're just going to have the server hop. All right, that's what I highly recommend to folks. Just you just don't even waste any more time. Just server hop. All right, what's next here, Jim? We got one more collect caps 250 so again many great ways we can collect some caps here in the game as you saw when we completed the event uh, we got some caps and we um, we can collect caps from people buying from your vendor but that could take all day right uh, so we might as well go to some places where we can get caps on our own one good spot is right here at Morgantown Airport of course this place is full of scorched and if you're lucky enough to spawn in the event called Collision Course which you can spawn in yourself, which is one of those events you can do that. More Scorch will show up with even more weapons, more armor. Pick that stuff up. You don't need, need to uh, worry about taking a carry weight booster. Don't waste it. Walk right over here to Morgantown Station because you can't fast travel when you're overweight. Just walk over here and sell it all to the NPC vendor that's down there. Okay? Same exact thing down here in Walsh. You can do the same exact thing. With all the mole miners that are down here 
And uh, again, once when you get all your shotguns, all your missile launchers from those guys, just walk up here to Well Station and uh, sell it all to the NPC vendor there as well. Now the main thing about when you collect caps, either for daily, weekly challenges, you have to make sure you have the room in your purse. So if you see the bottom right hand corner of the screen, I had bought a bunch of things lately. So now, so your cap limit is 40,000. Okay, so right now I'm 33,181. So I have all kinds of room to collect caps and they will count. So let's say you're 39,000. Our max is 40,000. We need to collect 250 caps. You need to make room in your purse in order for that uh, particular daily weekly challenge to uh, get credit for. Okay, it's just an FYI there. Uh, let's pop up here to the airport, Morgantown Airport. We'll just go up here today. We'll actually fast travel to the station. Pretty much spot in the same spot anyway. All right. Let's go ahead here. We're gonna go after some scorched. We're gonna make sure we pick up all the weapons here. All right. This one here is a little bit more involved than the other ones that we've had, but that's fine. All right, there's a pistol there. Just pick up this stuff here. Even if it's the uh, the melee weapons, by all means. Here he is. I was wondering where he was. He's hiding on us. Go inside this green seat can. There'll be a, usually a pipe weapon here as well, so that's pretty cool. No weapons on that guy, unfortunately. Now, if you happen to have some chems on you that you don't need anymore, you can sell the chems as well. All right, just again, we're just picking up weapons. That lead pipe will work not going to give us a whole lot. Uh, usually combat rifles, uh, combat shotgun, missile launchers. I find the um, the gauntlets that you get from the mole miners, uh, they give you quite a bit of uh, caps, like 20 to 22 caps each. All right, so down in the wells, that's probably a good uh, way to get some caps at any time at all. I don't think there's any weapons in here normally. Oh, I got a sensor module in here. I didn't even know this uh, This was here. Huh, that's interesting. That's good to know, Jim. All right, so that's pretty much it for the Scorched here in this area. So we do have a collision course that we can spawn in, so let's try doing that. We'll make the video uh, a little bit less. Let's go and see before we do that, before we commit ourselves to that. We do have some items here. Okay, let's. Uh, we won't bother doing that right now. There are some more scorch that are this way, and I do have some uh, chems on on me that I can sell. So we'll use that as an example. Instead of having to spend more time and doing an event that's going to take us another five, uh, another five ten minutes on the video, but you can do that if you so wish. Again, if it's a great way to get caps, pipe wrench. And much of stuff here we can sell in terms of chems, I should say. I think that's it. Oh, get that light bulb. Always down for a good light bulb. The stim pack there. As you can see, I'm overweight, but I'm not concerned because we have a train station right there, right? Get that. Buff out. Sounds good. We'll sell that. 
All right, let's go ahead here. It's probably one of the best spots to do this. As I say, down in well, it's the same exact thing. All right. Uh, there are some perk cards that will help us out here. Uh, under Charisma, we have the Hard Bargain perk card. This one here happens to be a three-star spelling selling prices that non-player vendors are now much better. He's a good one to have equipped now. It looks like I already have him equipped. It looks like I forgot to take it off. Another thing that will help is called uh, Grape Mentats. I don't have, an, have any on me, but Grape Mentats will increase your charisma. And uh, it'll also help with uh, bartering. All right, so just an FYI there. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're going to go to the spender bot here. Citizen. And we are going to sell some stuff. We'll go to our weapons section. Just make sure when you're doing this, you're not selling something that you do, that you want to keep, all right? Now, we're not getting a whole lot for this stuff. Uh, again, uh, down in Welsh is probably a little bit better. They have the gauntlets down there. Don't face, don't they have the uh, combat rifles, the shotguns, supplies. missile launchers. That's probably a little bit better area. There was an event going on down there, and I didn't want to be too confusing. Too much noise going on. All right, so let's go ahead here and see what else we got. So my aid, we have that buff Welcome, up that we got. Citizen. I am authorized. We have that healing self. We have these mintats. That cell is diluted. Sell that super. I don't need, uh, yeah, get that a little bit there. So we're getting pretty close here. We can sell some bobby pins. Let's go ahead and do that. Just to kind of give you guys some examples here. Supplies. All right, let's go back down to aid, and we will sell some right away. Again, just be very careful what you're uh, putting in there. Let's see what we got here. I got all kinds of stem packs back at the camp anyway, so that'll put us over. There we go. There we go. Collect caps 250 for 250, just like that, guys. Again. We would have done a little bit better if we went down here to Welsh because they have uh, better weapons down there okay, than the one, than the pipe ones that we got here. But uh, we could have partaked in that uh, collision course, but I would have just added, uh, you know, five, ten minutes on to the video. So you could have done that and uh, come back over here and sell everything you got to the vendor bot. Just an FYI there. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Let's take a look here. That's it. Again, another easy one incorporate uh, dailies into other dailies pretty good there you guys go hope you guys enjoyed the video please like subscribe and share when you have the chance it really helps me out i'd like to thank my channel members artistically arranged Boogaloo bronson michael edwards nigel whiffin heather white tribe star win 138 robco thank you all so very much and i hope you all have a nice day